Hello, welcome to unboxing tech video. Today we will be unboxing and checking out the Google's newest flagship devices, the Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL. Starting off with the 5.5 inch Pixel 3 in not pink. The not pink is actually this very soft tool, not really but kinda is pink color. Google pretty much chose the perfect name for it. The small box on the top holds the SIM card release pin, some instructional guides, a Team Pixel sticker, and a health and safety manual. Underneath there are the Type-C cable earphones, power cable, auxiliary dongle, a USB to Type-C adapter, and a wall charger. The typical smartphone accessories. I will also show off the 6.3 inch Pixel 3 XL. I got this one in clearly white. These are the actual color names Google came up with and not me being stupid by the way. It comes with this mint green accent button. The Pixel 3 has upgraded to an all glass back. The top portion has a glossy look while the addition of the glass back allows the Pixel 3 to charge wirelessly. The Pixel 3 comes in two different sizes as you have seen smaller Pixel 3 and the Pixel 3 XL with this funny looking notch. Now, let's go through the initial setup together. You get to choose your default language and vision settings for people with certain impairments. You can connect to your Wi-Fi here, set up date and time, turn on location services, and agree to Google's terms of service. Also, you get to set up the security pin and fingerprint reader, so I'll go ahead and show you how it's done. Google doesn't use Face ID, so they kept their round fingerprint reader on the back. My smaller hands have fairly easy time reaching it, even on the larger Pixel 3 XL. And that's the initial setup. You might have noticed the smaller Pixel 3 doesn't have the infamous notch on it. I'm not sure why Google didn't just match the two phones. Maybe they wanted to test the angry tech shark in fast waters and get on Apple's level, which is mind-boggling. Now, the big cheese that's got Pixel users all, all flutter for SD camera. The Pixel has one back camera at 12.2 megapixels and two front-facing cameras at 8 megapixels each, which is possibly the best camera that a smartphone has to offer. I want to see what the famous Pixel cameras have to offer, so we'll use this heart eye emoji stress ball as our voluntary model. We see that the zoom function works like the magic. It's an amazing amount of details even with 75% zoom. So the camera app offers some basic functions. You can link a photo you took to another app, such as Messages. Google also gives some basic filters and touch-up options to create your perfect picture. That's nice, let's save that. And if you want to send out a funny message to your friends, you can write it directly on the picture with markup. Go ahead and crop it too for the final touch. Other than just the basic camera are the panorama, portrait, video, and more. I want to specifically look at Photosphere. Google spiffed up panorama that gives you a 360 degree view of your surroundings. It's perfect for when you're outside with beautiful scenery and you want to capture it forever. Pixel 3 settings show off other options too. Dirty lens warning, location app, Google Lens, HD control, and so many more options. We can't really cover everything fully in a single video. So my overall impression after having this phone for an hour or so, I love this phone. Probably more than iPhone, which I've used as my daily driver for the most part. The design of phone and the color not pink is gorgeous and the Google software inside is incredibly advanced. It truly is most helpful device in your life. Because let me tell you, I need a lot of help in my life. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye bye.